Hi everybody, welcome back. Well, yeah, our best shot at cooling off anytime soon is the end of this week when it's raining as it'll bring cool air aloft down to the surface, at least temporarily, and we'll drop us into the upper 60s. But again, that's just temporary because of rain. It was 68 this morning on the rise, and remember, it was just the middle of last week when we were down to 57, so we are really turning it up temperature-wise, and 92 with a high today and above normal, uh, it's just, just 89. The looping Doppler radar shows that we had a couple sprinkles along the coast and down there near Malakit Beach uh, earlier today. You'll see that coming right up the coast right there and uh, then promptly fizzling out. We had one little shower also in San Patricio County, but that is gone too. The weather story overall is this clouds and humidity returning in a big way over South Texas, pushing the heat index back up to near 100 degrees with breezy afternoons ahead and increasing rain chances, but especially as we go through the week and into this upcoming weekend. So be ready for that if you have outdoor plans. I think there's going to be some interruptions this time around. 85 right now, pretty healthy breeze at 18 miles an hour from the east-southeast, still pretty outside. Remember we were talking about the dew point, the measure of moisture in the atmosphere uh, last week? Well, and it was in the 50s and 40s. Well, today, 75. So we're back to a summertime level and oppressive, and it felt like it today, and it'll be there again the next uh, trio of days before the rain picks up. We do have uh, this little disturbance out here to the west. That's going to be in tomorrow night, and uh, we will see a few thunder showers in the area tomorrow night and into Wednesday morning. We also have uh, this uh, little wave out in the Gulf. It's trying to advance some moisture in our direction, too, so hence the increasing cloud cover and humidity. Water vapor imagery is not too impressive for us right now, but it gets better as low pressure angles in this direction and destabilizes the atmosphere. Take a look. Here we are uh, now with the moisture tracker, moderate moisture in the air, and it does pick up here tomorrow night and into Wednesday morning. So I think we will see some thunder showers in the region, more over the northern half of the region, then fairly dry until Thursday night. And then watch what happens on a Friday afternoon. It starts picking up, and it really picks up Friday night and Saturday morning. We've loaded up with moisture here, so Friday and Saturday look to be the two wettest of the next seven days. As this upper level low kicks out, there's another one that's going to swing in behind it, and that's going to cause the moisture to increase here Friday and into Saturday, and quite a bit of it in the region. Walking the dog tonight, not a problem if we can get that lazy bum off the couch there, huh? <laughs> he loves that. All right, he's going to be watching the Dallas Cowboys tonight, I'm sure, with the temperatures dropping to 80 degrees and a south wind at 10. He loves the Cowboys for some reason. I don't know why. 75 degrees. I spent some time around Allen Harwell, I guess. 74 in Robstown, 72 in Alice, and 77 tonight in Port Aransas. And highs tomorrow reach 91 here and 94 out in Alice. Beach forecast is deteriorating a bit with increasing winds and increasing rip current risk with choppy bay waters and in the tropics nothing for us to worry about this uh, couple more systems to go we're going to run out of names but not to worry for us all right 91 tomorrow 92 hot again on wednesday and thursday scattered showers overnight tomorrow night and into wednesday and scattered thunderstorms likely here friday and saturday the wettest two days of the week and highs only in the 80s Pat. Woo.